So today I am going to discuss about the one important topic in the part of class A. In the part of class A, and in the course of diploma portion guidance and guidance and counseling conducted in the IIM Mysore, okay, NCERT. So today. My topic is before going to answer my topic, I will uh, better to introduce you myself. I am Prabhakar Reddy, DCDC 2022-28 with register number. Now I am going to distribute the handout of class term. This is the handout. Handout of the class term. So I'm going to distribute the handouts. See the handouts. Each and everybody will get the handouts. No problem. So much of handouts are there. We will distribute that. Okay? So much of handouts are there. Now, see here. This is the class that submitted to our professor C.C. Nagadeshu Murthy Lab, Dr. Majula Bhai, and Dr. Chathamagar. And myself, Dr. Prabhakar Indi, my registered number is 28. So I am going to present a topic on the significance of dialectal diet in analysis. Significance of dialectal diet in analysis. So imagine you are in 8th class. This is the perfect age of analysis. Here you will find us in 8th. Of course, we will discuss the characters of the analysis also in this case. So our time is 40 minutes as the today date and our venue is JPSS FJ Pali, Amway Pali Mandal of Ramo District and our number of students total 45, 8th class English one. So our area, food and health, we are going to discuss about these four dimensions. Balance of diet, components of balance of diet, sources of balance of diet, and affect some kinds of diet. Okay? Next. Okay. See here, what is meant by actual adolescence? Adolescence is a transitional stage of physical and psychological development that generally occurs during the period from puberty to adulthood. Generally, by birth, we know the baby is a male and female. But remember, in the lower classes, like first and second class, the voices of boys and girls same as we know. Is it right or not? In the first class, for example, even though if you contact your classmate first and second class, her voice or his voice we don't know. And if you wear a dress, similar dress, we don't find any difference. But at the age of adolescence, the secondary sexual characters and growth and development takes place. This is the age for the rapid growth and development. Adolescence is usually associated with the teenage years, but it's physical, psychological or cultural expressions may begin earlier and end less. Here, our physical development, imagine when you are in first class, what is your, uh, uh, actually, your height may be this much. Now you are grown like this. Okay, it means physical growth and development age. At the same time, what about our maturity levels, our psychological development, our emotional development, our social development also growth uh, takes place during this analysis. For example, at the age of uh, below first, uh, first class up to 3 to 4 years, if you go for a child and ask if you want chocolates, yes I want chocolates. How many chocolates you want? Why? Because that baby doesn't know the number. But then, come to after your class, if you want chocolates, yes. How many? You say 10, 12, 15. You say number. 
It means how to behave with others, how to behave culturally, how to behave socially. These, all these, we are learned a lot. This is the growth and development, and academically, socially, mentally, psychologically, physically, growing takes place rapidly during this adolescence. See here. Generally, during the adolescence, this is a transitional age, a mixed age. Some persons say that, for example, if you are missing, you are not old enough. For example, you are going to take a decision. Your parents, what your parents say? You are not old enough. You are a child. Sit straight like this. When you go for playing, you are too old to play. Sir? Yeah, yeah. Prabhakar Garu. It's not audible. Yeah, yeah. Just we will tell him. Prabhakar ready, sir? Hello. I think students are able to hear, but we are getting some problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even I felt the same. Okay. Like, um, I think Balaji, sir, you cannot record, right, sir? You can see only video. You cannot do the audio. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Let us check. Yes sir. If the recording is happening, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's but happening. It's let, let it happen. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Not audible. Actually, from sir side, it was muted, sir. I think by mistake he has muted. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they have the technical problem. They are doing something there. We cannot do. Yes, <laughs> I yes, yes, yes. Less, he unmute himself. Yes. Let us wait, madam. Yes. I, think, I think he is, he is no, trying. Both devices, sir. Both devices Mamta. are muted. Good morning. Yeah. Mamta, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you have any, any, any one of uh, Prabhakar's college number? You can... Tell them at least. No, they are able to see, right? So, madam, the two people, Narsimha Rao and uh, Upendar, they are able to watch this and they have gone to him and explaining. Oh, uh, sir. Okay. Prabhakar, sir. Sir. Yeah, yeah. So, it was stuck. Yeah, you yeah, can go ahead. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, yes, sir. I lost uh, my correction. Yes, yes, sir. Hello, madam. Hello, sir. So, so during this adolescence age, this is the digital age. Okay. Adolescence is the stage of rapid growth and development. The diet for an adolescent has to be carefully planned. Here we are. Why? Why? Because adolescence is the rate, stage of or age of rapid growth and development. Whenever the rapid growth and development takes place, we must require more and more energy. For the purpose of energy, we must intake some food. So the diet or food for an adolescent has to be carefully planned. Taking healthy and nutritive food is very important. Okay. See here. Whenever we are going to discuss about the food, so many food items are available around us. In your house, from your kitchen, while your mom preparing so many types of food. When we are going to a market, so many types of foods are available and see in the market and some shops. Why we take food? Anyone? Why we take food? So we are doing so many activities daily. 
so many lethargic activities takes place in our body internally so for this reason we must take okay what is a healthy food now tell me so many types of products are available in the market and in the shops and in the bakeries and in the flower from our kitchen from our mother today so according to your view what is healthy food Of fat, 
must be there in our life. How much proportion of proteins must be there in our life? Okay, generally we know that the proportion of carbohydrate is more than the proteins. Proteins are more than the fats, and of course we must add vitamins and minerals and fiber also. Vitamins and minerals. Okay. So how we get these components we will discuss. But first of all we must know about there is a proper proportions of blend mixture is there. That food components mixture and blending is called a balance factor. Your diet a balanced one. How to make our diet as a balanced one? How to make? See here. Taking green salads and vegetables every day. Taking foods like cereals, pulses, milk, etc. Adding milk, very good, sufficient blend heat. Taking a bit of fat. That means oil, ghee, butter, etc. Eat seasonal foods. Whatever food available in which season, if you consume that food, it will boost our immunity. It will give us vitamins and minerals. For example, some misconceptions are there. For example, how it is heat to eat mangoes in summer. Of course, mangoes are available in summer only. Some person says, don't eat mangoes. That will use your body heat. So many misconceptions are there, so you do not uh, forget about the misconceptions. Eat seasonal foods. For example, kava is available in the winter season. Someone says, if we eat kava, some cold it will affect. That's wrong. Okay. Don't forget to supplement your daily diet with green salads and vegetables. So this will leads to our fulfilling the needs and requirements of the balance of Source of food components. So we know that for our adolescence, proper growth and development, we must require a balanced diet. In the balanced diet, some food components are there. How to take the food components are what are the sources of the food components? Sources. Okay. So to take carbohydrates, imagine if I have to take carbohydrates, what to eat in our food? What to take in our food? Grains such as bread, noodles, pasta, crackers, cereals, and rice. If you take this one, so we are taking carbohydrates. Proteins, you want to take proteins. Animal based foods, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy foods. Plant based foods are fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. Particularly in pulses. Do you know the language popular? Pulses. So, pulses are rich in proteins. Rich in proteins. Next fats, manaspati, ghee, butter, cheese, oil. Someone they are adding sweets in their lunch and dinner. Those contribute fats. Those contribute to fats. Next, vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals and fiber both available from vegetables, leafy vegetables, fruits, whole nuts, etc. So these are the sources of fats. Remember that. In the adolescent stage, you must take the balance diet. First thing, second thing in the balance diet, there is a proper proportion of food components. Proper proportion. Not the general pro proportion, as you mix. Okay. Do you know which foods are to be eaten moderately, adequately, plenty and sparingly? This is very much important. Adolescents like you. Which food we have to take plenty, sufficient, others, which quantities? That 
foods like cereals, pulses, milk, etc. should be taken alternately when we are sufficient. Okay. Fruits, leafy vegetables and other vegetables should be used in plenty. Cooking oils and animal foods should be used moderately. Very, very less quantity than the above. Manaspati, ghee, butter, cheese must be used sparingly. Very rarely. It means they will contribute the fats. Whenever we are working, our physical working very hard, then only we will take the fats in high quantity. If not, this quantity is, this must be reduced. They must be reduced. Okay? Balanced diet is cheap in the Whenever we are discussing about the balanced diet, of course, Adults and children, you and your parents must be educated in this regard. This class star, not only for you, for your parents, for your neighbors also, you must educate them. 70 percent of the malnutritious diseases caused by the balance point, lack of balance point. So, whenever they must imagine that Oh, we must take balanced diet. It means balanced diet is very costly. That is a misconception. Balanced diet is actually very cheap. Making our food is a, as a balanced diet is very much cheap. How scientists have found out that a balanced diet need not necessarily be costly. Everyone can afford it, even the poor. If a person eats the all, Garment pulses, purple, rice, low peas, green vegetables, little oil, little oil and jaggery. Jaggery, yellow, 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 jaggery. All the food requirements of the body of Someone says that someone uh, cooking curries, they are frying, deep frying in the oil. The misconception is that when we are deep frying the curries in our oil, then only this is the rich and good food. That's wrong. Okay. Just see here. Rice, dal, roti, some vegetable bar, curry. That's enough. This will fulfill our parents' plans. Okay. Affects of food companies. See here. Whenever we are taking carbohydrates, they will use instant energy. And taking carbohydrates, they will digest very easily and they will use instant energy. Proteins, as we know, proteins are building blocks of our body. Our proper proportion of physical growth and development, proteins are very much required. Is it right? Next, fats. Gives more energy. Whenever we are doing very physical hard work, physical hard work, if we require more energy, then some person takes fats, they use more energy. Vitamins and minerals to keep us healthy, for immune boosters, for our disease resistance power also uh, increased by these vitamins and minerals. And the fiber, they removes constipation. If any undigested material is there, it will remove very smoothly from his uh, disposal work smoothly from his body. When that we take adequate amount of fiber hole. Okay. It is important to take balanced diet for overall growth and development during adolescence. So this is our conclusion. For our overall growth and development, what do we have to take? What do we have to take? Balance of diet. In balance of diet, the proper proportion of food components are there and we must take the balance of diet for our smooth growth and development. Right? What will happen if we do not take the balance of diet? Up to now we discussed about the 
need, necessity, source and concept of balance point. Now tell me, what will happen? Even though we understood about the in during adolescence, balance in diet is very much required. But some person says, oh, if you do not take the balance of diet, what will happen? What will happen? See, lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. Lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. Poor nutrition. Our diet should be a balanced one which contains proper amount of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, mineral salts and fats and that lack of balance of diet leads to malnutrition. What type of malnutrition? Malnutrition may be protein malnutrition, calorie malnutrition, protein and calorie malnutrition. It means so many types of malnutritional diseases are there. We are going to discuss in about one point. Okay. See here. Diseases due to malnutrition. Diseases due to this is not an contagious disease. Until we have come. This disease due to malnutrition is not taking balance of diet. He is suffering with which disease? Quashiarka. This is Quashiarka. This is due to protein deficiency in diet. Body parts become swollen due to accumulation of water in the intercellular spaces. Very poor muscle development, swollen legs, floppy face, difficult to eat, diarrhea, dry skin are the symptoms of this disease. Imagine, he looks like a very fat person. But this is not a problem to the dog. This is the body swollen. Body swollen. Why? When the proteins are available, proper muscle and growth and development is yes. No proteins. So there is a gap. There is a gap. So water accumulated in the liquid. No proteins. The gap is filled by water. So the body is swollen. See here. Marasmus. What is this? Is? Poorly nourished. Poorly nourished. This is Deficiency of growth, proteins and calories. No carbohydrates are there, no proteins are there. The person is very poor, poorly nourished. Generally, this disease occurs when there is an immediate second pregnancy or repeated childbirth. Lean and weak, less developed muscles, dry skin, diarrhea, etc., are the symptoms of the disease. Okay, so. This is one more. Obesity. One more. Of course, this is related to malnutrition, not poorly nourished. This is highly available of it. Highly? See, apart from the deficiency disorders, those two are deficiency. Permanent. Those two are deficient. But here, a constant intake of high calorie food, washyakar and marasmus is malnutrition. But this is not malnutrition. This is, see this one, he is taking not balanced diet. As we said, balanced diet means a proper proportion of food compounds. But he is taking high calorie value of food. May leads to a condition called obesity. In this condition, a person gains extra fat and becomes overweight. Obesity, obese children may suffer from problems related to cardiovascular, renal, and gallbladder disease. In future, obesity children face so many problems. So many problems. So. Avoid each other. It means balance diet. If you are taking not balance diet, means you are taking some other food. Maybe that is junk food. 
Maybe that means Jalpa. So avoid Jalpa foods and take only balanced diets. Okay. Avoid Jalpa foods. Why? If you are eating only pizzas and sandwiches daily, what will happen? Some persons, there is a bad habit to take high caloric value of food. Even though they are not working physically, they are not working physically. Some persons eat and digest all types of food, hard foods also. Why? Because they are working physically on the ground, in the fields. But we are simply eating and sitting in the classrooms. When those metabolic activities are taking place in our body, when we are so learning, when we are participating in some learning activities, this much of high caloric, hard food is not required. But some persons have a passion for a change, for the friendship, for other reasons. For a status symbol, some persons take these types of things. Pizzas, sandwiches, burgers and so many things. So if you are taking only these types of food, what will happen? Your body is being deprived of the other food substances. So your body, your digestive canal, your elementary canal is just habituated to take that type of food only. If you take healthy food also, it is not acceptable. Actually fruits, vegetables, leafy vegetables are very good, as we know. If we take the fruits also, our body does not accept it. Why? Because it is habituated for all these bad foods. Imagine, for example, a person is doing some uh, bad things. If you say, a girl uh, feels like this, this is a bad thing. You don't listen to your words. Like that, your body, if you constantly eat this type of food, your body is not, is habituated to that type of food only. That is accepted, that does not accept to healthy food also. Very dangerous situation. Junk food causes damages to our digestive system. And because, remember, your mother prepared a nice food. You consume today. What about tomorrow? Maybe some sort of spoil. What about after two days? Even though your mommy prepared very much care, with love, and affection, your favorite chicken, but after three days, what will happen about the curry? Spoil. After five days? Rather than take up also. But remember, these jam foods, Prepared and packed one week, ten days, fifteen days ago. Even though you are eating by purchasing them, we are eating by purchasing them. Means for the preservation, they add some chemicals. They will damage our digestive tract. Remember this point. All our senses. You must listen. You must aware. You must. Avail your neighbors and your parents also. Okay? It is better to avoid eating junk food. Why to take, why to purchase the junk food? Why to eat the junk food? And why to harmful our body? So it is better to avoid junk food. So, once again, summarize and key points what we have discussed up to now. As we discussed about the concept of parents to date. Are you understood about the concept of parents to date? Yes sir. The concept of the motion of good components. Components of parents to date. Anyone? Anyone? Please able to tell about the components of parents to date. Anyone? One of the components of parents to date. Give him the balance of David. Kakura David? Kakura David. One word. Anyone, anyone. Stand. Sadhguru stand. Come here. Tell me. One of the food components of parents to date. Kakura David adds protein. 
Greetings, good evening, sir. Minerals. Well, last one. Five hundred. Very good. Very good. So these are the non parents of parents. Sources of parents. As we know, carbohydrates are available from rice, nuts, etc., and proteins are available from the source. Affects of parents. And parents are the muscles. These are the topics we will discuss up to now. Lack of balanced diet leads to malnutrition. Okay. Anyone? What did you understand by the term of balanced diet? Balanced diet means anyone? Yeah. Proper. Proportion of food components. Eating the proper proportion of food components. Right. What are the components of our food? Just know. Sarvika said. List out the sources. As you know. Next. See here. Here is a diagram. The picture is there. By eating potatoes. See here. By eating potatoes. Which food component we will intake? Potatoes, potatoes. Carbohydrate. Only uh, pindi, carbohydrates. Okay. By eating leafy vegetables. Which food component? Leafy vegetables. Leafy vegetables. By eating fruits. Vitamins and minerals, fiber also. By taking oil, fats, both the value of that. By taking oil, by taking fats. Okay. By taking the carrot, vitamins and minerals. So, like that. Make a list of food items from this picture. So, we completed the topic about significance of balance of diet in adolescence. And uh, for the eighth class English medium students and gymnasts is MJ Pali. And one more small uh, issue is there. This is your field that. Your field that. I will distribute you these feedback forms to each and everyone. Each and everyone. See you. How the significance of balance of diet? Two minutes. What is the significance of balance of diet in adolescence topic? Useful for you? Is the topic useful for you? Is it useful or not? Yes, sir. It's useful. Very good. So, was the topic introduced appropriately? If it is the topic understood by you or not, you can come and lay down. Okay. What the significance of balanced diet in adolescence topic is interesting for you? Is this type of topic interesting for you or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are there any Like this, so many questions are there. You just write your signature, what your comments here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rating scale is there. 5 is the highest, 1 is the highest. If you tick for 5, it is excellent. 4 very good, good average, very average. Okay. Next, you put your signature here. Your targets. Okay. Up, up. So, this is about my class star. Under the fulfillment of diploma portion guidance and counseling which is conducted by the RIA Mysore under NCERT myself and Prabhakarati DCGC 2022-28 Thank you, thank you very much Thank you sir Thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you the faculty, all of you and the classmates, all of you Anyone from your suggestion please Balaji sir, Sridhar sir, 
ஜெகதீஸ்வரி சார் கேட்டன்ஸ் வெரி நைஸ் थैंक यू थैंक यू मैडम सर वेलकम टू सर मैं बोल रहा हूं ये फ्रेंड इज नेक्स्ट वेरी गुड सर मतलब थैंक यू वन सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर यस सर क्या क्या इज नेक्स्ट मैडम मेनी सजेशंस फूड वी वी हैव टेक इट थैंक यू एनी सजेशंस मैडम यस सर वेरी नाइस थैंक यू थैंक यू मैडम Thank you, thank you very much.